Can you hear me? I am delighted to welcome you to the college this evening. It's wonderful to see you all. Thank you for coming to my party. I feel grateful to this college for giving me a place to live and work half a century ago and for supporting me ever since. Our celebration tonight has a particular numerical significance that appeals to me. For me, this event celebrates 50 years as a fellow of peace. I'll come back to that. For the college, Tonight's dinner is our way of thanking you for your generosity in supporting our world-class education and research. Most of you have donated an astonishing 1,000 pounds for each of my years as a fellow and are members of my circle here at Peace. Your generosity powers our learning we thank every one of you for that gift of academic energy. For myself, Gronville and Peace has been my academic home for almost all my time in Cambridge, and we have grown even closer as time has gone on. I was surprised and very pleased to be elected to a fellowship here back in 1965 not least as these fellowships were some of the best paid at the time. <laughs> that fellowship was a turning point in my life, as the college made sure I could continue my research, despite my increasing disability. When I became ill with pneumonia while in Switzerland in the mid-80s, doctors asked my wife Jane, if my life support should be terminated. It was Keyes that flew me back to Cambridge in a chartered plane for treatment that saved my life. I was in an ad in Brooks for quite a time, unable to speak or hold anything. And during that time, my students participated in a rota to keep my mind occupied by reading to me. I was even able to laugh at the funny bits. A flat was adapted for me and my family in West Road, now the site of the student accommodation building that happens to have my name and my children had the grounds of Harvey Court to play in. I wrote a brief history of time there. The college installed a lift in its beautiful medieval buildings, and they were adapted for the 21st century technology I need to get around and work. And let's not forget the students here, They've let me announce their May Ball theme, A Brief History of Time, last year. I went to the May Ball and enjoyed it greatly. And I well remember the party held in this hall to celebrate my 60th birthday, when the highlight for me was the arrival of a Marilyn Monroe look-alike to sing happy birthday. <laughs> so, he gave me a home literally and figuratively, and is a constant thread running through my life. I wonder whether a young ambitious academic with my kind of severe condition now, would find the same generosity and support in much of higher education. 
even with the best good will, would the money still be there? I fear not. That brings us back to you, our benefactors, many of you members of the Stephen Hawking Circle, to whom all at this college would like to express our gratitude. We are privileged to be provided with such opportunities and resources here at Keys, thanks to people like you, who know how much education and academic endeavor matters. The other day, I mused that in a parallel universe, Zane from One Direction might not have left the band. <laughs> in yet another universe, there might be many colleges like this one. But for now, we're here in this one, and there's just one Gonville in peace. Let us cherish it for the next 50 years and beyond. Thank you for listening. <laughs>